Uh, kia ora. Uh, I, uh, good James Webster talk o ingoa. Uh, Iti po aki au i o tāhuhu. Uh, te wā e pākeke ana i mohi ana au uh, nō no tainui waka. Uh, nō no te arawa hoki. Uh, me te taha o taku pāpa. Uh, nō no te waka avalanche me ki. Uh, yeah, ko tato tu mai nei uh, ki te nei wahi o re kohu uh, ki te aro atu ki te nei kau papa ki a uh, faka hiko hiko ano uh, i i te nei o na mahi o na toi o te motu uh, mo te mori ori uh, ki ora ra. Yeah, uh, my name's James Webster. Um, I was brought up in Otahuhu in uh, South Auckland. And uh, hail from the Tainui, uh, the canoe Tainui Waka and Te Arawa. And uh, on my father's side, uh, we came down on a ship called the Avalanche in uh, 1862. And they have come here to the island to help support the, this cope up here, which is to ign reignite the, um, the arts or the art of tree. Uh, Carving, I suppose you could call it. Um, yeah, with the with the Moriori people, feel very privileged to be here, and um, yeah, hope that I can sort of contribute in whatever way I can, you know. But the yeah, you know, I say tree carving, but you know, it's more than tree carving. It's about you know, sort of learning the ecology of the trees and the culture of the island and the way the winds flow and the sea rolls and uh, taste the cuisine of the island, which is one of the great things about this place and the hospitality of the Moriori people. Somehow my name got on the list of people to get to be invited to a conference they were having here in 2011. It was called Me Rongo and it was a sort of world peace conference and um, sort of in keeping with some of the things I do which is uh, traditional Māori music or Tonga Pūro, uh, singing treasures. Um, it's quite a peaceful peaceful pursuit you could call it. So with that in mind I uh, brought my skills down here to help and support that, that kaupapa at the time which was yeah was, has been quite a highlight of my life as well. So when I was given the opportunity to come back and um, uh, revisit the island and be part of um, what's happening here on the Motu with the Moriori uh, people, and I was you know, more than delighted to um, so put my hand up again and yeah, come and support and be here with all the other awesome people that are here and the knowledge that everybody brings to this uh, kaupapa and those that are um, facilitating it. And my practice as an artist is in uh, sort of tongue puro, uh, carving, and um, now uh, the art of karitao, which is Māori puppetry. Um, and I suppose with all that, you know, there comes a certain type of discipline. And uh, like with uh, Māori carving as such, you know, you sort of, uh, you have the, have the rako uh, fouled, you know, and so it comes to you in a block of wood or a trunk. And, um, you know, so the, so the cell system of the tree is different from a living cell system that's still growing in the ground. And so you treat the wood in a particular way, but uh, when it's looking at, you know, the art of uh, tree carving or uh, impressions in the tree or, you know, still sort of trying to find a terminology that best suits it, uh, you know, ba based on the fact that we still don't really understand, you know, fully how it's been done. So it is all trial and error. Um, so, you know, I was just sort of saying in one of my mihi that, uh, you know, I had to sort of like decolonize my thinking about how I approach the wood, you know, because you sort of have the solid piece of wood and you sort of remove the wood and you're left with the, um, you know, the image or the form. And uh, in a phrase or a saying we say, you know, rui a taitia ko taikaka aniki, you know, remove the sap wood, so the heart wood uh, <clears throat> is left. Like I say, you know, like reconstruct my thinking around, you know, how this might be done 
you know, based on all the information and the talks and things that 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 have, have been presented at the hui. So yeah, that's been a yeah, it's been a little task, I suppose you could say. Oh, one of the local people mentioned it the other night. You know, there's two things to run in a good hui, and that's you know a safe environment. You know, to 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 feel free to stand and express yourself, and another one are willing participants. So if you have, like you said, if you have those two combinations, you know, you get a good energy, you know, within a group. With, if a group is, you know, feels um, open and, you know, free to express themselves, you know, I think you can only sort of generate a good vibration or modi, um, life force energy from that. And that's what you have here. You, know, you have a bunch of people that are, yeah, willing participants and, um, you know, passionate about what they do and um, you know want to share that and you have a group of willing participant, participants wanting to learn and wanting to grow and so in doing that we all benefit we all grow and uh, you know that's an awesome combination you know. oh there's lots of prospects about returning from 2011 till now you yeah, have thought about who often um, be it that I have a sister living here as well um, uh, and two nephews and now a grandnephew and uh, one of my nephews married one of the local mm. local girls here well you know got together with one of the local girls and had a baby but um, just the landscape and the you know and yeah the nature of the land here sort of suits my you know suits me and I'd like to come back and yeah, sort of um, partake in more wānanga and um, even do some sort of um, art projects down here. Uh, maybe some residencies or something like that just to can reconnect with the land and you know allow what I do to you know to grow you know in a place that I sort of feel connected now you know. So yeah I'm hoping to sort of return for sure.